Hi, my gorgeous, sparkly, scrumptious, tasty, juicy Taurus. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo -boo, whatever that means to you. Situation, trip, relationship, bumble day, marriage. Let's take a look at Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels what's happening for Taurus, my boo, -boo. Also, Taurus, with the you versus some readings, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation happening between you and your baby, baby. And Taurus, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Taurus, you know you are my darling little scrumptiousnesses because I am Scorpio. Okay, you're Taurus. We're two opposite signs, but we're two little friendly uh, little energies in the zodiac, I feel. Even though we're opposites, we're actually really good friends. And lovely, lovely boo boos. You have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck and the four of wands. Somebody is fantasizing about a reunion here. Your person is. They're fantasizing about what it's going to be like when you reunite, how they're going to come in, how they're going to fix the situation. I do feel like they understand they need to fix it because they effed it up. Okay, the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune here, boo, boo Oh, look who's at the bottom of the clarification deck. The devil. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Okay, get back in the deck. All right, let's see. <coughs> Someone was focused on their work, on their coins. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation. So, look, Taurus, your person misses you a lot. They know they effed up. They know they effed up. They think you're done with them. They think you're done with them. That's the main concern, the main fear. This person would just not make the right steps towards you, you know? They just did not prioritize you. Two of wands. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you went on a Tuesday bimbo, -bim, it was someone who was like, yeah, it's like fantasize. This person fantasizes a lot. They had it in their heart to be with you. They wanted to have a commitment. They see like a beautiful future together here. You know, you're going to have a little castle. But the castle is like the, a castle in the sky, you know? So this person was like very much in their fantasy world, not so much in the reality of things and in the end they, they never walked towards the commitment here they made you wait they left you hanging if it was a more established uh, connection and someone who you guys could have been engaged or set set to be married and then this person like changed the date or, or canceled mm, and their excuse would work I'm sorry I, I spat something out like did you see a little bit of spit came out oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sick with the flu it's it's okay because at least we're not <laughs> We're not in person together. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but Bill, you have... <laughs> oh my God, Taurus, I'm not going to redo this video. We're like two minutes, 59 seconds. I really should start again without this bit. But this, no, I refuse. Like this is real. This channel is real. This is realness. Once the, and also I'm already channeling. So it's it's a message for someone. We're, we're going to keep going. I'm sorry. It's going to be disgusting. But Bill, I'm just disgusting. <laughs> I'm human though, you know how it is. Even the cutest, most handsomest, prettiest little doll, but Bill, they're human, you know? Like, when you build your own beautiful palace and castle with, with your uh, soulmate baby, it's gonna be like that. Sometimes your scrumptious but Bill is just gonna spit at you <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. But you got the Eight of Pentacles. The person's excuse is money. Money worries, having to focus on work. They were like, I'm at work. I need to be spending time at work. You could have thought even that this person was um, lying to you. They were like, work could have meant like you, you thought this person was having an affair. They weren't. They really, they were at work. <laughs> like, Taurus, you know that. You love work. I love work. Scorpio and Taurus, we love work. So we love love and we love work. <laughs> this person was at work. <laughs> for reals, for reals. Because, you know, there's a part of them that's like telling them you need to get ahead, you need to focus on work. They're afraid to focus on love. Love is too complicated. Work is way more um, predictable. So they do actually focus on work. They were fantasizing, hoping to take things to the next level with you, and, and then they never did. And this situation fizzled out. Uh, and I feel like that's the scenario for both the bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between, and for a more established connection where like, you know, maybe it was like a different level of commitment that was you were waiting for, but something fizzled out here, never went um, to the next stage, never went to the next step. And you also refused to chase this person. And you're like, no, I see two people quite possibly wondering, you know, should I touch, should I not? Both of you left it how it was. Nobody like, you know, but it's this person's fault. 
because this person doesn't didn't make that step they didn't take it to the next level they didn't make you feel special they didn't make you feel scrumptious again you know uh, take everything i say with a grain of salt by the way because i am just a random bimbo on the internet so you know whatever your story is you know your story best um take what resonates baby <laughs> but that's what i see here either they didn't take things to the next level like they promised or they just didn't make you feel next level in either case this person caused this situation you didn't chase you didn't falter you didn't text to see what's going on and that's just how it was left your person is still burning the midnight oil today wondering why you didn't text them back what happened why you didn't chase why didn't you didn't chase up they were hoping for that even if they did something nasty to you or broke up with whatever it was they were they were thinking oh but they're going to chase it up i don't know taurus maybe there's history between of you doing that but this time you didn't do it <coughs> wheel of fortune person is go undergoing a major transformation of mind body and soul they want to change for you specifically but bill they want to be a changed little bit bill they do see with someone scrumptious <laughs> they're just scrumptious you're just biblically scrumptious you know what i'm saying they, they just want to have like a little bit of that taurus you know a little bit of that taurus nuggets you know a little bit you know some of that bull <laughs> Oh my god, they want to barbecue some of those bull bits. You know, they just like they like a bit of bull meat. Let's just put it at that. Okay. The innuendos today aren't really working, but I'm gonna be working on them to be working. The page of wands. Uh they will be sending you a message because they want to work it out. Two of, of pentacles. They want to invest in this again, but they'll be coming in real cautious towards because they think you're over it. But they will be sending you a message. It's going to be a cautious message. It could be just like, you know, at first like an invitation to do something or talk. It's not going to be like straight away like all the big apologies or anything like that. Scorpio got like more like someone's going to just come at them with like some like crazy apology. I think in this case, it's more like, please, let's hang out. Let's go do something because they want to gauge your energy. Let's see what the advice is here for Taurus. It's going to happen in the next two hours, two days, two weeks, Big Bill. justice you know is this the karma that you want for yourself you are the master of your destiny the captain of your ship bit all right the love boat you're the captain of your love boat baby is this the karma that you would give yourself if you were your own angel guide if you were your best friend is this the karma you would give yourself Or is it the kind of karma you will tell yourself not to go into, not to return to? Do you deserve this, you know, uh, like in a good way and in a bad way? Did you deserve this kind of treatment? Is this the best you can do? What is this love, you know? What is what is it about this love that is serving you? What is not serving you? And how are you serving this other person? <coughs> it goes both ways. And also, you know, the question is, is it just, you know, is it called for for you to forgive them because they're coming and they do want to have a conversation. So it's like, you know, it's important to, to note for you, is this person going to be honest with you? Are, are they doing the right thing? And then you can follow on from there. Uh, I feel like that's what I'm getting here, my darling Taurus. I'm sorry. I'm so ah, gasping for breath. It's like a whole thing. Okay, well, that's it for me today, boo-boo. I, I do apologize for the It's always chaos here. Um, but it's like a little bit less fun. I feel like the videos are less fun when I'm gasping for air because it's just less fun. But maybe it's more fun for you to watch me gasp for air. I don't know. I love you, my darling tourists. You know I do. I'm always manifesting you. Thank you for spending your time with me. I'm always amazed that you choose to spend your time with me. I'm so grateful. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, Taurus, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button. And of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay... I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this kneading little <laughs> massage. I don't know, whatever. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you, baby. Mm, one more.